Humans have been exploring space for only a short time, yet the impact on humanity has been vast. The exploration of space has taught mankind to view the Earth, the universe, and ourselves in a new way. While tremendous technical and scientific accomplishments in space demonstrate vividly that humans can achieve previously inconceivable feats, we are also humbled by the realization that Earth is just a tiny blue marble in the cosmos. The future of space is one without boundaries, a future where success will only come through the collaboration of people from different cultures, languages, and backgrounds. One place to learn about space and our future survival on Earth is Space Camp Turkey, where fun and learning combine in a nourishing and supportive environment. The first space camp in the world opened in 1982 in Huntsville, Alabama. Space camps in Canada, Belgium, and Japan followed soon after. Space Camp Turkey is the world's newest camp licensed by the U.S. Space Camp Foundation. Space Camp Turkey is located in Izmir, an ancient port city on the Aegean coast of Turkey. Izmir has been a jewel in the crown of many empires, from the Greeks to the Romans to the Ottomans. Today, Izmir is a modern Mediterranean city with a population over three million. Space Camp Turkey was conceived as an integral part of the Aegean Free Zone, the first privately developed free zone and industrial park in Turkey. The Aegean Free Zone is currently inhabited by 350 international high-tech companies and is home to 10,000 employees. Established in the year 2000, the camp is a hands-on educational facility. Its mission is to excite and engage young people in the fields of science, technology, and space exploration. Space Camp Turkey is part of a bigger global vision that strives to facilitate international peace and friendship. Global Friendship Through Space Education is a nonprofit organization based in California. It brings together motivated young people from different countries and cultures and teaches them to accept their differences and to learn to work together. Well, when they come in here, we don't say, okay, here, you're the Greek team, you're the Turkish team, or you're the Azerbaijani team, or what have you. We look at their ages, we look at their capabilities, and we form the Sun team, the Jupiter team, and uh, the Moon team, and, and so forth. So all of a sudden, they're no longer a part of their country folks. They're part of the, the Jupiter team. So they start interacting and working together. The six-day international summer camp is supervised by English-speaking teachers and counselors and focuses on the global friendship through space education. The overall aim of this program is to develop leadership skills, teamwork, and cross-cultural understanding. Training begins with the fundamentals of space shuttle systems. Then, it is life aboard the orbiter and space station. Next, they will hit the NASA design simulators and train just like the Apollo astronauts did for their trip to the moon. In the beginning I was a little bit scared, yeah. but then I got used to it and it was fun. You feel, you spin and you feel the blood rush to your head. My favorite one was the one that uh, you actually have the chance to feel like walking on the moon. Oh, okay. And it's one sixth of gravity and it's so nice, you feel like you're flying. They learn friendship, they learn how to work in a team, they also uh, learn some creativity. All of the kids have problems with English, they're not English speakers, so they all have the same problem to, to somehow try and communicate in a language that none of them really feels comfortable in. Students learn English at school, but unless they are forced to use it, or they, unless they see the advantage of using it, they do not always realize how important it is. So here they have an opportunity to realize how important it is already at their age. My name is Ariane. How many years have you been an astronaut? Over. 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 For the first time for a space camp, they were able to hook up to the International Space Station and ask questions directly to the American astronaut. The highlight
highlight of the space camp experience is a simulated shuttle mission, where students reenact as a team the actual shuttle experience from launch to landing. Each of us has a role, let's say a commander, a pilot, or the public affair officer, and all these different roles, and we have a script and we read it. And uh, so we're actually um, imitating the way that it's really done. In the orbiter, pilot and commander's job is to launch into space and get the mission specialists and the payload specialists into space safely. Roger, I'm switching on all three fuel cells and main power supplies. Close it and open it. Let me repeat. Okay, okay. Pilot is go. Mission specialist one is go. Mission specialist two is go. Space Camp is housed in an 85,000 square foot, four-story, state-of-the-art facility. Astronaut simulators, computer lab with internet access, hydroponics lab, classrooms, observatory, a movie theater and dormitories are a few of the highlights of this fun-filled science camp. Here at Space Camp Turkey, counselors and teachers are available 24 hours a day to watch over the welfare of the student campers. Our staff is highly trained in child education, science, and teamwork skills development. It's very important that it's an international program because people from not only Turkey but all the surrounding countries of the Middle East and Europe can come here in a fun, safe, educational environment and learn about the future of technology, which we feel is space. I think this is the, the true vision of the Space Camp Turkey philosophy is joining young people together with the idea of global friendship through activities in space. Teamwork is one of the main uh, emphasis here. They, they interact with other kids on a daily basis. Uzay zannediyorum bütün herkesi kapsayan bir alan. Dolayısıyla hepimiz zaten kardeşiz. Bunun farkına varmamızı sağlıyor belki de. The opportunity to, give, to meet the students from other countries and to speak and to um, uh, get acquainted with, with other cultures is, is very important. I made a lot of friends from Israel and Turkey. I didn't think global friendship was so important in the beginning, but now I'm sure and I'm a fan of global friendship. At Space Camp Turkey, students will gain an understanding of what global friendship means and can achieve. Uh, how, how nice it is to have a Greek friend. Or a Turkish <laughs> friend. Yes. And, uh, Mm, we talked the matters about our countries, you know, they are not really friendly with each other, but uh, we think that Turks and Greeks can be friends, really. We are truly citizens of planet Earth. The Earth is fragile, and it is our task to take care of it and pass down this responsibility and understanding to the next generation. To achieve this, countries need to learn to work together. Our mission is to provide the experience of global friendship to the young people. After all, we're not so different, so why fight? Why set up traps to one another? Just be friends. Eh? Yes, of course. <laughs> Only through collaboration and peaceful coexistence can we guarantee the future of our home, planet Earth. <laughs>